there, happy Friday. Welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer, and this is the local roundup. Punks are at it again. The Durango PD are looking for the latest prankster. Another head is hanging from the Ark of History. This time, in celebration of the Chinese New Year, a dragon decorates this work of art. Unfortunately, the men in blue have no suspects. What's even more suspicious is how people are talking more about the ornaments than the piece itself. Now, what do art, a mystery, and the lost dog have in common? Find out on today's In the Neighborhood. Here's some good news. Moisture might be headed our way. A chance for rain or snow is likely today through tomorrow, but our best bet is Sunday when a weather system moves in from the west. Cross your fingers. Now, is this change in precipitation due to Tarantino's request? We all know southwest Colorado is begging for snow for many reasons, but as Quentin Tarantino shoots his newest movie, Hateful Eight and Telluride, he's wanting the freshies himself, asking for real powder so he doesn't have to create it with a computer. They even did a ski burn on Valentine's Day to Uller, the snow god. If Tarantino wants it, maybe we will get it. Now, I'm always wanting to challenge myself, and on the season's last Weekend Warrior episode, I get in a little over my head. If you haven't seen it, it's worth checking out, only here on FourCornersTV.com. Now, this weather did allow for me to get on the rocks, but it doesn't matter the temperature, I probably won't be participating in the world's biggest no-pants party. Here's today's Get Your Fill. Well, it's that time of year again. It's the 14th annual No Pants Subway Ride. This looks cold and uncomfortable, but I'm all for it. My pants are already off. Organized by a group called Improv Everywhere. We welcome everybody to the 14th annual No Pants Subway Ride! Yeah. This depantsing took place in 52 cities across the globe. I love this. I mean, it's fun, it's sexy, it's my kind of crazy. But you gotta love humans. Won't get off their ass and go to a voting booth, but show your ass to strangers on a subway, and the whole world gets behind it. Stay tuned for Shirtless Taxi and naked bus. Wow, Phil, no shirt on the second week. We're really getting to know him. Thanks for watching the local roundup on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Laura Schweizer, and I'll see you Sunday morning.